What's up YouTube? I am going to show you today uh, how I post what you need to buy to set yourself up to sell on eBay uh, the quick and easy way. Um, so you need to buy a stock from eBay um, supplies just to get started. Let me show you. Now always get yourself a get yourself a good storage little cupboard here. Just a storage cupboard. And then right on the inside, right on the inside, uh, what you need with supplies and all that, and give yourself motivation. Um, so let me quickly take you through uh, how I do it. Now, 500 gram bags, you want to pre-buy these. Pre-buy these, these are great. These are great, they works out to $7 something each. It's really $8.55. The cost, so that's the cost you put. You keep your little, uh, you keep your little um, sender things. So let me show you. I'll give you an example. This book here. Uh, so look, this is all old, older stuff. But yeah, you keep everything that you send, and you post the uh, tracking number. Post the tracking number, and there you go. You can't get done for anything. And yeah, the pages just keep going on there. So you got the bags, you got the 500 gram bags. I can send one video in a 500 gram bag. Um, you got the one kilo bags. International bags are just plain bags. Uh, just plain bags. You need these international slips that you get from the uh, post office, you got to fill those out when you send them to America or the UK or wherever you're sending to. So, and then of course the international bags are just a plain bag and then you write the address or print it out and send it on there. So 500 grams, 1 kilo bags, and then I've also got the um, 3 kilo and the 5 kilo bags as well. Stock up! Stock up! So I'll put up in the top corner, or I've already got it up there, whatever, but um, they're the, basically the prices and you get, and you get them in lots, okay? So I write on here, every time I take one, every time I take one, I will rub it out. So just say I took a five, one from a five kilo, I would rub that out, and I would say there's five left. But there's not really. There's six left. All this is that I did was a whiteboard, whiteboard uh, fridge magnet one, and I cut it out and stuck it up there. So that makes life a lot easier. I know how much is left. When I get down to a certain amount, I will re rebuy, rebuy. So when I post DVDs and CDs, I use these. Just your normal uh, padded bags. Just your normal padded bags. And um. I'll pop that up there as well. There's a price you can get, and you can buy them in bulk. If you buy them at the shops, you're paying a shitload. Buy them, buy them in bulk. So there we go. I got a whole heap there in bulk, and then I'll also write, you know, what I need. Wipes is another thing. I like to wipe all my product down. You get these from uh, three dollars, and you get a pack of hundred. Uh, so you wipe down all your product when you buy it from the. Uh, op shop and all that so um, I don't need to really put that up Coles, Woolworths, wherever you get so make sure you buy some uh, wipes eBay tape is a biggie I like to use eBay tape instead of uh, normal tape when you're taping up uh, anything because when you are when you're bubble wrapping when you're bubble wrapping up I like to tape it with eBay tape it makes it look so much better and professional there's the well bubble wrap it could be any price from any store. I don't buy that from eBay, but there's the prices up there for the eBay tape, and I, I think it's worth it. These thank you cards are expensive, but these thank you cards are definitely worth it um, when you put them in with the video. Uh, you put them in with the video and <clears throat> They give you a five star rating, they give you a good rating, and they remember to rate you so your store gets better. So make sure you get a few of these. There's their little link up there, well not link, but uh, just a photo of uh, where I buy from. Uh, they're not cheap, but 100% worth it. More people come to your store that way. Address logos. 
address logos you can uh, get printed out. I don't really want to show you my uh, address, but um, on the back of uh, the um, the parcel postage, <laughs> it starts to when you sell so many, you're writing your re return address on there. So I like to have a pre-made sticker of my address and my eBay store, and I stick it right on there. I put that link up, or not link, but the photo of uh, up there who I buy from. I get like 130 stickers, I think it is, for uh, a few bucks. It's not much. Um, look him up. He does them for you, and he does a good job. Um, so that's where I put them. I stick it straight on there. I don't have to. I save myself time. I don't have to write. Uh, so much easier. And these parcel posts absolute best because you just go into the post office hand them over and they scan them all and you're done you don't have to pay when you get there so when you've got that uh, 500 grams $8.55 done they've paid for it bang 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 you just keep restocking just make sure you always have some lucky bands lucky bands are always cheap everywhere a couple of bucks just have lucky bands just in case you need them I always have a set my little set of scales um, I want to weigh because if I weigh them, if I use a 500 gram bag, th uh, 500 gram bag, one kilo bag, uh, three kilo bag, five kilo bag, whatever, I want to weigh it to make sure it's not overweight. So when you get to the post office, they always weigh them when they're scanning them, and they're assholes. If it's like just one little fucking one little bit over, they'll try and charge you. So get some scales. Fucking life so much easier for you. And those scales cost me, I think, $10, $15 on eBay. It's fucking in nothing. And it's worth it. It's worth it. So these, I'll put up here, a little picture. These are boxes. You can get boxes for DVDs if you want um, and all that. But like I said, I'd rather uh, post the DVDs and pay when I'm there uh, the $2 postage or $3 postage, however heavy it is, for CDs and DVDs. Um, but for videos, it's always going to be 8 55 um, toys and all that as well if it's under 500 grams it's for one but these are eBay um, video box covers uh, there's the price that I pay up there for a hundred of them that's all I got left so uh, I've written on my thing here let me show you so I've written here um, I've ordered my uh, uh, next VHS boxes I need wipes I'm good with tape at the moment, um, international bags I'm good, logos I'm good, I need some bands, rubber bands, I need some more thank you uh, things, DVD posts I'm fine, and bubble wrap I need. This makes life so much easier for you so you don't run out, because you don't want to run out. But this is the best to protect because you don't want to have to keep on using bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap is expensive, it's when they buy. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, however many videos from me, I will then bubble wrap them. But if they buy just one, I box it up in this. Let me show you quickly how I do it quickly. So it's as easy as this. There's the uh, eBay box. Sorry about the noise in the background. The dryer is on. It's winter and I need socks and jocks. So it's easy as this. You just quickly fucking bang, bang, bang. Fold that up, fold that up. So sorry because I'm not being able to hold the uh, camera at the same time. Crush that in like that, get that little bit of a uh, box out. Get that little bit of box out. Happy as that. Bang. Let's chuck a movie in there. Hey, Rocky. Rocky goes in there like that. Sorry about the sun as well. Chuck a thank you card in. Bang, bang. Hold up in there like that. There's your protected video. There's your protected video. You would use your eBay tape, tape it up so it doesn't uh, come undone. You would use your 500 gram bag. Of course, I would weigh it just to make sure it's uh, of weight and it's of weight easily. As simple as this. You put your sticker on the back there of your address, fill in their address right there, take that pink one off, keep the tracking number for yourself, and it's as simple as this, in, fold it over, 
and that's ready to go and that's ready for them to post they scan that you've already paid for this bag buy it in bulk don't go to the news agency and the post office and do it straight away and that's ready to go and happy days and then you click posted so here's an example of someone's just brought uh, 12 movies off me we have got the little note there for them to say thank you how beautiful is that packaging 12 movies and then a five kilo bag that will slide straight into a five kilo bag that doesn't even weigh four and a half kilos but it won't fit into a three kilo bag so um, a five kilo bag twenty dollars they've paid twenty dollars for the postage for 12 movies instead of eight dollars fifty five each done a bit of a fucking package for them and look at that nicely packaged all bubble wrapped up all ready to go so my number one thing is I'll put it up there again, get those, uh, get those little, uh, your address to stick on the back of the uh, postage, stick it up there again, get your prepaid postage bags, you've seen the video covers, you've seen all that, do what I did in the shelf here, it just makes life easier, whiteboard, just buy a freaking $5 whiteboard uh, magnet one and cut it up, make sure you have a book, so you can stick all of all of them right down what you've sold and just put it all on there easy easy all right i don't think i left anything out but uh that's it that was just a quick one i just wanted to show you all the little things that you should buy uh you should get for yourself actually i did leave something out um where i take my photos um i don't have it set up today i'm not going to quickly set it up now but i'll put it up in the uh corner there i think it cost me 30 dollars. it's a pop-up it's a pop-up little uh, photo tent thing. Folds up, goes away. I don't have it unfolded at the moment because I only just thought of it now. Uh, I don't use the lights either side of it like it shows you the lights because there's enough light in the house to use uh, um, from the sides of it. And yeah, that's where I put my videos in and I put all my product in and you've got the black background and you just take your photos with your phone and it's, it looks fucking good. All my photos look good of all my product that I uh, put up and it sells and it looks professional instead of just on a table or anything like that. It looks good, so get yourself one of those as well. That's a definite uh, must. Alright, that's it. Like, subscribe, don't like, do what the fuck you want. But hopefully all my info helps you um, get started or at least uh, make life a little bit easier for yourself if you're starting to sell a little bit too much. And, um, and of course, you know, subscribe, don't subscribe. Do what the fuck you want, but uh, yeah, I'm coming back with uh, another cool thrifting video next. The next one is tomorrow morning. Well, it won't be tomorrow morning when it's posted, but um, tomorrow morning I am going to a garage sale early, early, early. It's going to be cold, um, and they've got a lot of videos for me for sale. Um, so fingers crossed I can get there before everyone else, because I've seen some good ones on the shelf, but... Thanks for watching. Uh, share, like, subscribe. Like I said, do what the fuck you want. But uh, let's get these views up. Let's get these views up. I'm trying to help you now. Let's get these views up. Hope I helped you. Um, and definitely watch the next one because fingers crossed I can get a good shitload of uh, videos for the next lot. I am killing it. Selling fucking heaps. Selling heaps. Okay. All right. Have a good one. See you.